Hey guys, welcome back to the fiesta. As you can see, everyone now has their death sickle. Which will be fantastic. Also, we gained like two levels in the pro time it took to get them. So let's uh, advance now. And go get us a chocobo. We must capture it. And I foresee this being more difficult than anything else in the game. Or extremely easy. That was a lot harder last year. So what's special about black chocobos? They can fly. Except this one seems to be kind of fat. And Bart's is dead. What did you do, Chocobo? There you go, Farce. Beat it out of him. True Berserker fashion. Hey, it's the missing crystal shards from the fire ship. This is where we would normally get Bard and Ranger. If only I could use them. Anyway. So I'd like to point out, it can carry all four of us, yet it couldn't carry Bart's and two crystal shards. But now we can fly. And because of that, we can return to the Great Library and visit Sid and Mid. So I believe there is another area we would like to visit first. is all way over here. Yes, this is the correct area. But we can only land the chocobo in the forest. Which is its major drawback. And now we have to hoof it. But you'll get to see those death sickles in action. See, there you go. There's the instant death effect. It doesn't trigger on every attack, but it has a pretty high chance of activating. And it makes life pretty easy. I'm ignoring the hell out of that cave. We may end up having to go in there later. But now, no thank you. Basically what I'm doing is there's another town right here. And I just kind of want to adventure in and see what I can get from the shops. Since I have a ton of money. I may as well spend it. I also believe there's another piano in here. Indeed. So I believe that is the fifth piano. Oh, we're doing good on pianos. Here we go. Here's the armor shop. This is mainly what I was looking for. Alright. It's all useless. Good stuff. And out of curiosity, what does the weapon shop have? Some reasonable weapons. I'm going to buy a mage masher for when I have a... when I have my dancer. It could prove useful in some situations. I hope that was a trip well spent. Let's go back to the chocobo. This old man will get out of my way. Only Mid was here. He'd show him what for. Now, as powerful as these death sickles look, they do have one huge drawback. If the instant death effect triggers on an undead enemy, it will completely refill its health. So I've made sure to keep my mithril hammers just in case. 
So now that I think about it, probably should have bought some of those ogre killers that were back there at that shop. Oh well. We'll have other opportunities to buy axes. I don't think undead is going to come up too soon. Anyway, back to the library. Well, it didn't take long to find them. Yeah. They're not so heartbroken over losing that ship. They just busted their asses to repair. Oh well. And now we get to one of the most RNG things we could possibly have. This is what I've been dreading since the death of Liquid Flame. And honestly, the reason I wanted another job other than Berserker. Any job, really. First things first, go use the healing pot. Out of the way, please. Thank you. Alright, so we're headed west. Fortunately, we can't bring the chocobo because there's no forest over here. And we're going to make a save right before the entrance. Which is right up here. Right where the sand starts. I see the berserkers are basically invincible to these normal enemies. Hey, free gold needle. Alright, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll drop some potions just so everybody's full health for the save. It's not worth a tent. Grab us a save real quick. Oh, Forest is blinded. I should fix that. Where are my eye drops? A blinded berserker is basically as useless as it gets. And I want to save again so I don't forget to do that every time. Because I guarantee this will take multiple attempts. Alright, so this is the... Desert of Shifting Sand, I believe it's called. And because the sand is shifting, it's near impossible for us to get through it. So we need to make a bridge. How are we going to make a bridge? By killing the sandworm. The sandworm is one of the bosses that the Berserker is the absolute worst for. I'll explain once the fight starts. But bring it on. Alright, so that's the sandworm. These three holes, it's going to jump around from hole to hole, and it's basically a big game of whack-a-mole. The problem, every time you hit the wrong hole, it unleashes a pretty brutal counterattack that takes a ton of health. Do you see the problem with the Berserkers? Yep. I, it only has 3,000 health, so if the Berserkers can just guess right enough times, we can get through this. Otherwise, we're going to get destroyed. Here we go. So far, this is not looking good. Have they even hit it once? I don't think they've hit it at all. Okay, that one might have been a hit. They keep deathing the hole, which isn't helping. I 
See, now the counterattack actually can't kill because it does percentage damage. That attack can, however. And there's our first defeat. And that's what we're going to be doing for the next forever. Round two, Sandworm. It's seriously just all RNG at this point. I think we actually hit it once. Actually, I'll stop the speed up just so I can actually see what's happening. Bart is dead. Alright, good death on the hole. That's going to really hurt Lena. Going to hurt Lena further. death the hole again. Death the hole again. It's actually that attack that does the most damage because of the HP drain. I just need you guys to hit the right targets. That's really it. I guess I'm going to go grind for a while. Oh my god, finally. You guys have no idea what I just went through. <laughs> I've been sitting here fighting that boss for three hours. I am level 42. That's about the same level I beat the game at last year. But it's done. We can finally move on. Finally. And that is the last boss like that I can think of for a long, long time. By the point we get to another one, I'll have access to different jobs. I am saving immediately. Oh, Gallop is dead. Should heal. Yeah, that took... I gained, what, almost 20 levels since the first attempt on that? Use two tents because tents aren't actually a full heal anymore. I think they heal a thousand HP. And now everybody can put their death sickles back on. I had to take the death sickles off because the death effect doesn't do anything, but it triggers the gravity effect twice. So, wait. Save with the equipment on. Like, I am so happy right now. 
Like that right there, that literally sucked the fun out of the fiesta for a couple of days. The good news, I'm not going to have to grind for anything for a while. Look how much gill I have. <laughs> like, at this point, the only thing I don't have tons of is just job points. My character's a fully mastered berserker. Well, there was an example of the undead enemies coming back when the death effect procs. Thankfully, though, all I had to do was keep hitting it till it didn't proc. I just gotta... I have to remember how to get out of the desert. Oh, send me back up. No, the exits to the south. We just have to keep making our way down. There's the exit. Freedom. Freedom and glory. Never again am I going into that desert. Actually, I think I might have to at one point. I'll never willingly go into the desert. Berserkers, take out your rage on everything now. You have earned the right to rage. So for those wondering why that fight was so hard against the sandworm, there's several factors that work against the Berserker. One, it looks like there's only three possible targets. The sandworm or the two empty holes. That is false. As the way the fight is set up, there are actually seven targets. Three empty holes. Three sandworms, only one of which is visible at a time. And a third invisible enemy that does nothing. It's basically just there to service the... Like the total health of the sandworm. The way the Berserkers target, well, normally you can't target those. The Berserker can, and the Berserker will. So rather than being a 1 in 3 chance of hitting the target, it's a 1 in 7. Also, the Sandworm is always considered in the back row, so physical attacks always do half damage. So you have a 1 in 7 chance of hitting it, doing half your normal damage, and you may have noticed Berserkers tend to have a high miss rate. Yeah. That is just... It's an awful, awful fight. If I had any other class, I think it would have been so much easier to pull off. I don't remember where exactly King Tycoon here spawns. 
So I'm just kind of trying to run around and trigger him. Aha, there we go. Aha, so Forrest finally admits it. And it was a trap all along. I mean, I remember the Scalif gets separated. So, Forrest is dead. Forrest and Lynn are having their touching reunion that they're finally acknowledging. And Galif is all alone. So clearly it seems like Galif can hear them, yet doesn't take the time to shout back. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna leave him behind. He ain't having it. Alright, let's berserk our way to glory. And hopefully new jobs. Oh hey, what's this do? Why, it's a huge teleporter. That teleporter is over somewhere near Crescent. And it's collapsing. Wonderful. Can't believe they would just take my chocobo like that. Let's see, where exactly are we? Oh, right. There's a bit of a puzzle here. Because I want that treasure. Check the planters in this inner room. Gotcha. Go check those planters. Yeah, we'll rest. Well, I guess I accidentally said no. Notepad in the right. Oh, that was rude. Check the urn. Alright, let's go check the urn. It's not very clear what it means, but I'm pretty sure it's one of these. Now, I don't know how they scripted that. That must be a very well-trained frog. Down six and right four. Down six, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and what's the treasure? Shuriken. Another shuriken. And the mini spell. I don't think any of that is useful. Shurikens are only useful for ninjas. Let's take a quick rest, since I messed that up earlier. Now we progress. Uh oh. We've caused an earthquake. How oh, so many earthquakes. Oh no, we killed Sid in mid. And the chocobo... Too concerned, a little confused, does not seem too worried about it. Save point, sure, I'll take it. Hey, 
Man, it's a ship that sank. And a vastly superior ship. It's clearly a skyboat. Hey, you guys are alive. Alright, enough talk. Can you get this ship working? And now the old guys are wandering off. Fine, let's go. What are you guys doing down here? Sit language. I said, what did you do? Oh, hey. Nice. We did it. Boat has entered the sky. Airship. I prefer skyboat. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Alright, a new boss to rage at. Ow. Okay. Oh. Well, there you go. Even some bosses are not immune to the death sickle. Ah, victory. That sounds delicious, actually. And back down we go. Yes, repair the skyboat. To the skies. And now we have actual freedom. Why is everything quaking when we get close to it? Every single time. Okay, well, the city just flew away. That's probably not good. Cities normally don't do that. Are you... At what point did you guys get a telescope? Okay, yeah, yeah. So Floating Town stole the Earth Crystal. Kind of. And we need Adamantite to make the ship fly high enough. Got it. All right, good thought, Cal. Way to come through in the clutch. All right, well, you have a destination. To the Tycoon Meteor. Or some Matamantite. Oh, that was actually closer than I thought it was. Eh.
Yeah, yeah, Forest could use some healing. I'm burning some tents. Not like I can't afford them. Forest, how you doing? I'm missing some. And that's right, I've made so much ill from this leveling that I had 99 of every item. Or every currently available item. Alright. Save, so... You don't have to redo any of that. Oh, really? I can't enter the meteor from this side. Oop. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've been here. Alright, Caliph, how do we get in? Hidden switch. Of course. Okay, let's not step on the teleporter. Adamantite. Just have to take all of that. Yeah, we are mocking you a little bit. And let's get out of here. Oh, it's always ominous when the screen changes color. Oh, hi. Oh, berserk it. Oh. Alright then. So absurdly over leveled, things don't matter anymore. Which is. Something I was actually concerned about when taking the Berserk risk. It's when you get stuck like this with just four Berserkers, your only option really is to grind. And there's not much else you can do. As you've probably noticed, Berserkers not good at strategy. Not their forte. Alright, nerds, where you at? I got you out of Mantite. Power up my skyboat. Activate Nerd Kaokin. Good job. One now. Oh, good, it has a defense system. Oh, right, I remember, it's mounted with cannons. So this ancient civilization had airships and cannons. So now it becomes Berserkers versus Technology.